in this lesson, you're gonna learn how to put guitar tricks into guitar solos so it sounds natural and it makes soloing even more fun. So to keep it simple, we're gonna just use position one for the A minor pentatonic scale. If you don't know that yet, there's a free printable download in the description or there's a link to a video where I teach you all about how to do it. The A minor pentatonic scale has two notes per string. That's why I usually start with it when I teach beginners how to play solos. So let's do it. If you don't know how to do a hammer on, pull off, slide, or a palm mute, please check out the videos in the description, go over those videos, learn how to do them, and come back here. If you know how to do them, let's go. All right, so when you freestyle solo, freestyling is just kind of going, you know, just playing the notes within a scale whatever way you want. You can start in the middle. You know, and do just random things, literally just whatever comes to mind. So just doing single notes like that can get like, you know, a little boring. You wanna add a little flair to it. So, you know, if you were just gonna kind of play inside the scale and knowing where all the notes are already. So you can just add the little tricks as you go. So like, you know, you could figure out in advance what you wanna play on the guitar or you can freestyle along and just kind of go, okay. In this, I'm gonna stick within the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale. Let's do position one, it's easy. And let's just, you know, hammer on, pull off. Or you can kind of go, little trill. It's harder to hear and do on the um, acoustic guitar, but right now I'm not using my right hand, okay? You can just hammer on and pull off and you kind of get that sound. To make this easy, let's start with kind of uneven picking. So to do that, we're gonna do long, short notes. What I mean by that is long, short, long, short. So then you can kind of add a little flair to it, maybe. Um, like literally do whatever like literally I did not write that I'm just going okay I know what notes are inside the a minor pentatonic scale I'm just going to those notes you're gonna mess up you're gonna go to the wrong note sometimes sometimes actually when you go to the wrong note it sounds kind of cool you can slide back into the right one um, and adding palm muting you know we'll kind of show you the guitar here you can kind of do the same exact thing with the palm muting. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out the video in the description about palm muting. And you can kind of, you know, weigh at the back of the guitar. Palm muting is kind of cool for sort of a background sound to a song, adding. It's not gonna be like the guitar solo, right? You want the guitar solo, you want it to be loud. Maybe it starts quiet though, you know, with that palm muting. So what you can do is just without a song, without a song, just kind of start with that groove, you know, of, long, short, long, short, and then start adding just randomly, slowly, some guitar tricks, like, you know, adding maybe a slide at first, and make sure you're starting on one note in the A minor pentatonic scale in that little box we have, and then going to another note in it, and then go from there. If you know how to connect positions one and two, you might continue on to other notes in positions two and take it off from there. Either way, you can do what I did, and you can just do without another song, just freestyle, just find out what works and what sounds good, you know, really get to know that position and the notes that are in it and even expand from there into position two. And then as you do that, 
maybe go, you know what? I'm gonna try this with a song. So you can go and find a song in the key of A minor and then just mess around with it and see what sounds good and what works. And you might end up writing a riff all on your own that sounds super cool that you want to memorize that you're gonna wanna write down and play later and maybe work into a song that you're writing. The number one thing with soloing, especially freestyle, you don't have anywhere that you know you're supposed to go, you're kind of just making it up as you go, and adding guitar tricks, both. The key with that is, you know, it feels awkward. You know, there's there's not much direction. You're just kind of going with the flow. But to just let yourself make mistakes and let yourself just feel uncomfortable in not knowing what you're doing yet, and eventually you're gonna get it and you're gonna sound like an amazing guitar player even off of just one position of the A minor pentatonic scale by adding these cool guitar tricks, maybe making some uneven picking happen, and you're gonna be golden. And then you can only get better and sound better from there.